right, welcome back everybody. Today we are making Tom and Jerry, not eggnog because Tom and Jerry is better. There's a whole history lesson, but let's get right down to it. Grab your bowl. And then at this point, you should have already separated six to 12 eggs. Here I've got six egg yolks, and then I'm adding 225 grams of sugar, followed by a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon nutmeg, half teaspoon allspice, half teaspoon cloves, and I'm gonna mix all this together until it becomes one homogenous paste of sugar and egg yolks. Once that's together, I'm gonna to put that aside. I'm gonna grab my stand mixer, unless you wanna break your wrist by whipping a bunch of egg whites by hand. Here I got six egg whites. I'm gonna dump that in my mixer. Then I got one teaspoon of cream of tartar. Once you got that in the bowl, you're gonna slap that bad boy down. You're gonna put this on medium high and you're gonna whip until you get stiff peaks in those egg whites. Kind of like this. Look at that. Looking like stiff peaks. Yep, those are stiff. All right, so once you got your egg whites beaten, you're gonna take those and you're gonna put those in the bowl with the egg yolk and sugar and spice mixture. Once you got it all, all put together, you're gonna fold this mixture together. I can't stress this enough, you are not going to mix, you are not going to beat, you're gonna fold so you get a nice light airy batter just like you see right here. All right, look at how delicious this looks. All right, give it a taste test. Yep, that's pretty gosh darn good. All right, so now we're gonna put this in a pretty cool Tom and Jerry bowl I got off of Etsy. All right, and here I'm adding about a cup of oat milk. You can use regular milk, but my wife can't drink regular milk, so we drink oat milk. And I'm gonna mix this together, making sure not to deflate the batter. Next, I'm gonna add in a half cup of brandy. For this, I'm not using anything fancy, some Paul Maison brandy, the BSOP. I'm also gonna put in some plantation, original dark, a half cup. So it's uh, a whole cup of booze in, in total. All right, and then I'm mixing this in slowly again, trying not to deflate the egg whites, but get everything thoroughly mixed. All right. Uh, this didn't seem right to me, so I added about another cup of oat milk here. And now I'm gonna give this the, the first taste test. And we're going in for the sip. Yeah, it's delicious. All right, yeah, look, I'm going for a second cup. And I'm pouring my wife a cup. So, it turned out pretty good. Wife. Come try this. All right, so now that we've put in all the hard work to make this, let's give it a try. That's really, really good. It's a lot lighter and airier than eggnog, but it still tastes pretty similar. It's not it's not overly alcoholy. The the brandy and and rum blend in really, really nicely with the sugar and then obviously all the spices. I know I made the punch version, but you can make just the batter and then you can make single serving drinks with that batter. If you do make the punch version, you need to consume this the same day. And if you refrigerate it, it's probably gonna separate a little faster than if you leave it out at room temp. But that's all I got for you this week. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you guys like it and I hope you have a happy holiday season. As always, if you like these videos, go ahead, leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.